as we just wait that final minute just in case we have any anyone else joining us i'll just tell you that so at the weekend on august 1st on the celtic and pagan wheel of the year that festival on august 1st is known as lamas or lunasa and lamas is an old saxon word it means bread and crops and, uh, and loaves of, of food. And Lunasa is an old Celtic word that's drawn from the Celtic god Lu, and he is the god of the sun. So the weekend was very much a festival of sun, of food, of light and abundance. Really kind of that high summer where all the crops are beginning to ripen. So if you're growing tomatoes and green beans in the garden. You might have had little crops of your own. If you've been for walks in the fields, you might have seen beautiful big crops of corn or the harvesters now harvesting that those crops of corn. So it's a really lovely time of high summer, I always think. And that's going to be our theme for our meditation today, Lamas Festival. And as always, my favourite meditations are the ones guided by nature, so we'll, we'll take a little journey within nature and, and what the ideas of Lamas and harvest might mean for us in our meditation journey. And so as we just tip over into seven o'clock, I think most of us or are already in our place but if you just take your time to come to the earth we shall be exactly where we need to be and as we settle upon the earth hi Susan as we settle in our place we might want to close the eyes or to let the gaze be soft And just get into a nice, comfortable place to begin to relax the body and to hear the sound of my voice. And you don't have to listen attentively. It might just be the sound of my voice will just kind of whirl around you. And that's fine as well. Your, your brain is still absorbing the words, even if you're not directly paying attention. So that's fine. And as always, we'll take a little time to journey into our meditation. So we'll do a few minutes of breath work, a little bit of a body scan, and then we'll just take a lovely little, little Lamas Festival visualisation. So all we'll do to start is just take a few of those beautiful easeful breaths. aware of that rise and fall of the breath and along with the rise and fall of the breath we have the rise and fall of the tummy and chest as they move with the breath in harmony with the breath might just like to take a very easeful breath of inhaling for a slow count of three and exhaling for a slow count of three. Imagining with each inhale that three count travels the air through tummy, filling up through lungs and all the way to the very top of the lungs, the base of the neck. And then as we exhale, the lungs empty from the very top of the lungs all the way through the chest and almost as though the breath is emptying out all the way from the very bottom of the belly. And as we envisage, if we wish to envisage this three part breath, it's almost as if our, our whole torso, our whole centre is filling with air. 
and emptying of air. It's filling through the bottom, middle and very top of our centre and emptying through top, middle, all the way to the bottom. So we really just take our time, every inhale, every exhale, taking our time and allowing that rhythm of the breath to be balanced. So if for any reason the count of three feels too much or not enough, your number could be two or it could be four. But the idea is that it is a balance between each inhale and each exhale. We're just going to allow our focus to be on this three part or balanced breath for a minute or so. Just to give ourselves a chance to bring that focus inwards to the rhythm, to the pace and the depth of the breath. Along with this easeful rhythm of the breath, that conscious focus on the breath and the slowing down of the breath can have a lovely effect on body and mind. It can just help guide us into a slower, more easeful pace. So as we take those easeful breaths, we may also think about consciously releasing and relaxing the body. So this might just happen in stages or you might envisage it happening with the rhythm of the breath. So for example, as we just release the little muscles of toes and feet and ankles. We might just imagine the toes and the feet and the ankles relaxing, softening, easing from their day. We might imagine that you're exhaling out any little tension or tiredness within the feet and the toes. You may even envisage that any weariness rises from the feet like little puffs of smoke or falls from the feet like little tumbling building blocks. So we can use our mind's eye to envisage that release in, in any way that comes to mind. from that point of toes and feet and ankles. That sense of release moves up through our legs and our knees and our kneecaps. Those strong muscles of the legs releasing and relaxing now as we ease into our evening. And the muscles of the hips and the tummy are soft and calm.
and the muscles of chest and heart just move gently and easefully with those rhythms of breath and heartbeat so it's not that our body will ever be completely still there will always be those little rhythms those little movements it's about finding our own sense of stillness our own sense of calm the muscles of the shoulders and the long muscles that run down our back they relax and settle so we allow them to release into the earth or what beautiful support we might have beneath us solid ground or squishy blanket and arms and elbows and wrists and hands all the way to the, the very tips of our fingers. Release and relax. The muscles of our neck and jaw, soft and calm. And the little muscles of our face, eyes and forehead, all the way to the top of our head, release and relax. As we allow our whole body to relax, from the tips of our toes to the top of our heads, easeful body and ease for breath and just guiding our thoughts our awareness inwards towards these easeful rhythms this restfulness and this calm journeying towards a slower and quieter pace. Maybe as we ease into a slower and quieter evening, or maybe just as we take this time for our meditation, a little precious pause. And from this place of restfulness and ease, we may, within our mind's eye, take a little journey to the natural world as we just celebrate a little in our meditation, that beautiful festival of high summer and the harvest.
So in our mind's eye, we'll just picture before us a beautiful giant tree. It is a huge tree, larger maybe than any you've seen before. And this beautiful, large tree, huge tree, is covered with the beautiful colors of high summer. So the bark and trunk might be a beautiful, rich brown. The leaves, bright and shiny green. Maybe there are ripe fruits, beautiful red cherries or green apples. And this might be a tree that exists or one simply from your own imagination. This huge tree represents a very precious tree known as Idrisil, the world tree. Ancient folklore once said that its branches reached so high that they touched the heavens and its roots ran so deep that they ran to the center of the earth. as we see this beautiful great tree before us, we might hear the wind in its branches as the warm summer winds just gently rustle those beautiful bright green leaves and swaying branches and ripe fruits. You might smell the earth and the moss around this tree Feel free if you wish to reach out and touch the texture of the bark or even to run your hands over shiny lush leaves or fruit. Give yourself time with no hurry just to visualize this beautiful tree in your mind's eye. mind's eye, our precious imagination, is in its own way a portal, a doorway. From here we can connect to memory, to imagination, to ancient folk tales that run deep into our ancestry. Long forgotten memories. As well as this sense that the mind's eye is like a doorway, you have a sense that this beautiful giant tree is also a doorway in its own way. So huge is this tree that the tree trunk spreads out wide upon the earth in beautiful grand buttress roots. And amongst these roots is a real doorway. 
the great roots creating an archway and steps down into the earth. As you pass through this doorway of the great world tree, you might pass down steps or through a tunnel. A sense of peacefulness descends, a quietness within the earth, but also a warmth. That scent of earth and of moss. From <clears throat> this portal through the tree, whether we are walking down steps or walking along a tunnel, we see before us another doorway, one filled with golden light. From our short walk, our little portal journey, we pass through this doorway from this tunnel within the tree, come out into a space of beautiful open sky and sunshine. The vast expanse of sky above us is a gorgeous shade of blue and not a cloud in the sky. And the sunshine is warm and golden as it shines upon us. And before you lies a beautiful field of gold. It might be a field of grain, barley, it might be a field of sunflowers. It can be a field of pineapples if you wish. Any beautiful crop that maybe reflects that golden light of the sun. This whole crop, this whole field before you is golden and ripe, ready to be harvested. And as we walk into this beautiful field of gold, walking between plants and rows, you can reach out your hands and touch leaves or grains. Maybe you pick something gently from a stalk. A stalk of grain or an ear of corn or a beautiful sunflower. Or we'll just hold it in our hands. Envisaging being surrounded by this beautiful field. That beautiful scent of the sun of summer. That gentle scent of dry earth and the warmth of the light above you.
And in this space of light and abundance, that beautiful circle of the sun is above us. We feel almost a circle of light is, is cast around us. This field of abundance is once where the goddesses of the harvest would have blessed and resided within. And with this energy of light around you, you might imagine simply the warmth and the energy around you. You might see this idea of the beauty of the goddess within the crop that you hold within your hands. Or maybe you even envisage these beautiful women, as beautiful and radiant as the sun. Perhaps we envisage the Roman goddess Ceres. She is the goddess we would have worshipped in the ancient Roman city of Bath. The goddess of grain, of agriculture, of splendid crops and abundance. When something was particularly wonderful in Roman times, they might say that something was fit for Ceres. If it was good enough for the goddess Ceres, it was fine indeed. Ceres blessed the cultivation of the land with beautiful crops and abundance. And her sister, Roman goddess Pomona, was the keeper of the orchards and the fruit trees. The flourishing trees of shining cherries and plums and pears and apples. And she would hold great cornucopias of fruits shining in every colour. The deities of the harvest and of the fields. So often women to represent abundance and fertility. Beautiful Gaia, Earth Mother, embodied in ground and earth and mountains, ever present to sustain life upon Earth. you may envisage these beautiful goddesses holding fruits and harvest, smiling upon you in your journey within this field and through the trees. Where once we would have sent gratitude to the goddesses here we can be thankful for the abundance of all the earth offers, offer, offers us, all it can bring us and nourish us.
And this idea of the deities of the fields, or simply the energy of the earth, can just help guide us or support us in reflecting. As we come to harvest season, what may we, what may we harvest? What have we accomplished? What are we ready to offer the world? What seeds have we nurtured and grown? We might have planted seeds of intentions, of kindness, of love. We might seek to harvest the fruits of great plans or adventures. And just as if we were to eat grain or corn from this field, there is a little work to do. Maybe we have to peel a husk or release a grain from chaff. This can remind us of what we may need to release in order to find our harvest, to find our fruits and our gifts. What may we need to let go of to offer or find our own healing, our own nourishment. A reminder to let go of anything that no longer serves us as we seek balance and abundance. And we can thank the goddesses of the harvest and field for inspiring this idea of abundance in all its forms, and the harvest in all its forms. And we'll just take quiet minute just to bask in our field of gold, our harvest, our abundance, under the gentle gaze of the harvest goddesses as we ease into the beautiful season of Lammas, of Lunasa, the time of sun and harvest and abundance.
May this festival of Lammas bring you blessings of the harvest, health and hearth, and bring you joy and all good things with which to fill your heart. As we think of leaving this beautiful golden field, just for now, we can return here any time we wish. We'll turn from the golden crops and the golden sun, thanking the goddesses for their time and their love. And as we walk back through the field, the way we came, the way we have journeyed, once more we find that beautiful doorway at the world's tree. Once more Finding our gentle path through tunnels and steps. Meandering back the way we came. Following the tunnel. Journeying through that doorway of the buttress roots. So that we are once again standing before the world tree, resplendent in its green leaves and bright fruits, solid trunk and great roots. Maybe we just lay a hand upon the trunk of the world's tree and thank it for this journey this little doorway into the wheel of the year and the cycle of the seasons. And so, my beautiful yogis, perhaps the next inhale is a little longer, a little deeper than the last, with absolutely no rush as we just perhaps wiggle fingers and toes or make any gentle movement or wiggle or shimmy that feels nice as we just begin to bring our awareness back to the day, back to the evening, and back to the room.
with eyes still closed if you can, and no rush. Let's gently bend the knees and pop the soles of the feet on the floor if we're laying down. If we're already seated, you can stay exactly as you are. From here, we'll just roll to our comfortable side, so that little yogi recovery pose as we just take a breath or two here. It's just like a little seed. We come from the earth and then we take a little pause in that little recovery pose as if we're just a little seed germinating, taking its time. And then with eyes still closed, if you can, we'll just come up to an easeful seat. It doesn't matter what way you're facing, you can bring blankets with you. We're just gonna hold on to that meditation for just a moment longer. As we think of those seeds of intention that we can plant and nurture and grow and harvest. We embody that within our practice. Each intention, each mindful action. And what we can harvest is no less than a little calm, a little peace, a little harmony beautiful fruits with which to go forth into our days and weeks. And maybe the goddesses of the harvest just gently watch over us from their worlds of myth and folklore. Just to keep an eye on things. So just nice and easeful, let's bring our hands to heart center in prayer. We're just gonna take a nice inhale and sigh a nice big exhale. From here, we can gently open the eyes and to ourselves and each other, we say namaste. Namaste, my darlings. The light in me honors the light in you. Thank you so, so much for joining me today, my darlings. It's always beautiful to have fun with that wheel of the year. It's uh, a very ancient way of visioning the year, but I think it's always lovely to connect to nature as always. You know, it's one of my favorite themes for meditation. So it's always beautiful just to acknowledge it in some little way. So I hope that you have a beautiful rest of your day. The sun is out here, so maybe you can view some blue skies and a little bit of sunshine of your evening. Um, as I said, just a reminder, I will be away next week. I'm going to find a little sunshine of my own down in Dorset. Um, but on my newsletter on Friday, I'll send around some pre-recorded videos and meditations. So if you want to do something at this time next week, then you can do a pre-recorded one with me. So at least you'll have, have some options. So send me any emails, any questions. If you're not sure about anything, just drop me a message. Always lovely to answer and uh, hear from you guys. So I send you my love. Mwah. Go forth, have a beautiful rest of the day, and I will see you soon, my darlings. Bye.